Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen for today's recipe. Today I will be showing you how to make those delicious soft and fluffy poppy seed snails. Yes, you're right, they're called snails because they're rolled up like a snail. And those rolls, they're good for any coffee break, whether you are at home or at work. Just pack them up and take them with you and they will make your mood go brighter and lighter and you'll enjoy. Let's begin with the recipe here. First, we are using one and a half cups of lukewarm milk. Then we'll add 50 grams of unsalted butter to the milk. And now let's add two egg yolks to the same mixture and then we'll mix it up all nicely until it's all incorporated. Next, add one tablespoon or 15 grams of dry active yeast and then mix it all in. Okay, for some sweetness, we'll add half a cup or 80 grams of sugar. Okay, on to the next step. So we are sifting in 550 grams or 3 cups of all-purpose flour into your mixing bowl. Now we'll add 7 grams or 1 tablespoon of salt and then start mixing it all together with your electric mixer. We'll slowly add the wet ingredients to the flour and slowly mix it in by starting off slow and then increasing your speed. I'm going to add a little bit of flour to the bowl where I'm going to let my dough rise so it doesn't stick too much on the bowl. Then take out your dough from your mixing bowl and form it into a nice smooth ball. Okay, my dough piece is having a nice smooth surface. And I'm just going to place it in my bowl here and cover it with some plastic wrap and let it rise for one hour in a warm place. I usually heat up the oven for a couple minutes so it's warm in there and then I'll place the bowl inside to rise. While the dough is rising, I'm going to prepare the filling. So I'll use 300 grams of poppy seeds, I'll put them in my blender and blend them on high speed until the poppy seeds look nice and fluffy and darker in color. Alright, and that's how they should look. For the second part of the filling, we will prepare some Dr. Edgar pudding mixture. So I'll use two packages per 500 milliliters and I'll use a little bit of the milk to prepare my powder mixture while I'm heating the rest of the milk in a little saucepan. 
The reason why I'm using two packages of the pudding is because I want the consistency of the pudding to be a little bit thicker than usually. We don't want it running out of the poppy seed rolls later on while preparing. We will also use 80 grams of sugar and mix it up all well. Bring the other part of the 500 ml to a simmer while whisking consistently. We don't want the milk to be burned. Heat the milk on medium temperature and then turn it down to low temperature. When you see bubbles coming up from the bottom of the saucepan, you know your milk is ready and it's time to add the pudding mixture inside the milk. Now we will just whisk it up all nicely until the pudding mixture is well incorporated in the milk. Keep whisking, we want the pudding mixture to be heated until you see bubbles coming up from the bottom again and then we will take it off the stove. Just make sure you keep whisking so the pudding doesn't burn. And look, this is the consistency that we want for the pudding. And now we will add the poppy seeds inside the pudding and mix it until the poppy seeds are well incorporated in the pudding. And look, this is starting to look delicious. So I always put a piece of plastic film on top of my pudding so it doesn't form a film on top of the pudding. And then we will just chill it. It's been one hour and our dough has been risen nicely and doubled in size or even more so it's ready to get rolled out. So scrape it out of your mixing bowl onto a well floured working surface. I always pre-shape my dough with my hands into a small rectangle and then use my pastry roller and roll it out into a big rectangle. And this is the thickness that we want the dough to be. Time to spread the pudding mixture on. And then roll it up all nicely from one side to the other. And then I'm just kind of closing up the ends and sticking the two sides of the dough together and making sure the ends are also closed. Then use a scraper or a knife to cut them up into about one and a half inch pieces. And place them onto your baking sheet. I will also top my rolls with some almonds. Before we gonna bake the rolls, I'm gonna give them a little bit of humid rising time. So I'm gonna fill up a baking sheet with about 4 cups of hot water and place it in the oven at 170 Fahrenheit for about 5 or 10 minutes and then I will switch the baking temperature to 350 Fahrenheit and bake the rolls for 15 minutes. And during the baking time, we will remove the baking sheet with the water. And here they are, all done and baked. And wow, they look so beautiful and so delicious. I can't wait to try them. The poppy seed snails turned out big and just look at the size of them. The humid rising time makes a big difference to the size and softness of the roll. So don't skip the water bath inside the oven. 
So just place some water underneath in a baking sheet before baking and let it rise for 10 minutes. So don't skip that step and it will make them turn out this beautiful and huge. So I'm just gonna top mine with some icing sugar here just in a sieve or your shaker. So put some sugar on top. You can also leave that step out and eat them plain like that. So if you like today's recipe, give me a thumbs up and comment. Leave me any comments or questions you have. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I welcome you to join my kitchen. Thank you for joining me today with this recipe and watch out for the next video recipe.